to this uh, this uh, this uh, road. It say it on there, but make sure it's on the phone. Bob the shop. Alright. Alright, Shalom. Wanna we'll first start off giving all praises, honor, and glory to Yahweh, Bashem, Yahweh Shah, Bashem, Kakwadash. Double honor to the apostles and the elders of Great Millstone, and peace and blessings unto the elect of the nation of Israel. Alright, this is GMS Houston Camp. We out here once again to do the work of the Most High. And his son, is their true names in the in the Hebrew. The Heavenly Father's name is Yahweh, and his son's name is Yahweh Shai. Okay? Right. So we are here to prophesy the downfall of America. Alright, this is the last uh, kingdom to, to stand on the planet Earth before the nation of Israel rules this planet Earth in righteousness. Forever. And America rulership is accompanied by uh, NATO in the EU, which makes up the beast. Right. And that's the power structure that's ruling this planet Earth. All right? And we out here in hopes that these words fall on the ears of the elect. And they wake up if if the elect hadn't already been uh, sealed. Bring out a Ecclesiastes 3 and 1. And get uh, Deuteronomy 28. Oh, Deuteronomy 28 and uh, I think it's 64. Start from the top. Well, I see it. I see it. <laughs> <laughs> yes, these three verse one. To everything there is a season and a time to every purpose under the heaven. Right. So right. that that even goes for who's in rulership. Uh, when a when a uh, kingdom. Kingdom rises and the, and the, and the king uh, kingdom rises in the power by the, through the power of Yahweh Bashem Yahushai. I believe can you get Psalm 75 and I think it's verse six real quick. And also when the, when that kingdom falls, it's a, it's a time and a season for every kingdom to rise and, and to fall. Right. Right. And it's all and that happens by the uh, uh, through the power of Yahweh Bashem Yahushai. Also get. Daniel uh, 4 and 17. We'll bring that out first. Yeah, start at verse uh, 6. Oh, what verse 5 Yeah, start at verse 6. Okay. Psalm 75 and verse 6. For promotion come neither from the east nor from the west. All right, what's that talking about? Promotion comes neither from the east nor the west. Promotion meaning being a uh, kingdom, being promoted in the, uh, power, the power seat. Right. From one side of the earth to the other side of the earth, if a kingdom rises in the power, okay. <coughs> Read all that. Okay. I'm gonna let the scripture break it down. Okay. Go back from the top of uh, Psalm 75 and 6. For promotion cometh neither from the east nor from the west nor from the south, but Yahweh is the judge. He put it down one and set up the another. Yeah. Right. So what the scripture is saying is, king men that rule kingdoms, they don't come into power on their own. Right. The promotion ultimately comes from the, the Heavenly Father, Yahweh. Right. He, he put it down, he set it up one and, and put it down another. How does it word it? Verse 7, but Yahweh is the judge. He put it down one and set up another. Yeah, he put it down. Let's fucking say that. Come. He yeah. put it down one kingdom and he set it up another. You know, you have these heathens on the planet Earth, and even uh, our people, Jay, right. so-called Negroes, Latinos, and Native Americans, they think that wars are fought, and then that particular nation that, that came into power, it just happened by that, the military might of that particular nation. Right. And it, it don't work like that. Right. Yeah, that's the process, but ultimately the most highest over who wins the war and who's uh, uh, promoted to rulership. Right. All right? And then when that kingdom 
service uh, does its uh, time ruling, then the Most High is responsible for taking that kingdom down. Yep. So right now, we're in the time of the Most High putting this place down. Right. The power structure that rules this planet Earth is, is the beast. Read about the beast in Revelation, uh, I'm sorry, Daniel. What's that, seven? And talk about the four beasts. And then you go to the book of Revelation. It's mentioned throughout the Revelation 12, Revelation 17, and other, and other uh, chapters, all right? Which is NATO, EU, and in America. That's the power force on this planet right now, and they're on their way out. Bring that out, all right? This is Daniel 4, verse 17. This matter is by the decree of the watchers and the demand by the word of the Holy One <coughs> to the intent that the living may know right. that the Most High... Matter of fact, Bible, so I, so I, yeah, can you start over, Bible, so. Daniel 4, verse 17. This matter is by the decree of the watchers and the demand by the word of the Holy One right. to the intent that the living may know that the Most High ruled in the kingdom of men. See, the Most High ruled in the kingdom of men. Even right. with Esau, because the, the beast is comprised, the rulership is comprised of Edomites. All right? Right. The so-called white man's biblical nationality they are Edomites, which they go back to their forefather Esau. Okay? You can read that in Genesis 36. Get that real quick. Uh, I think it's one. Yeah. Then it's also in the, like another verse, like fifth verse. Yeah. Okay. This is Genesis 36 and verse 1. Y'all can come through. Oh, y'all good, bro. Genesis 36 and verse 1. Now this, now these are the generation of Esau who is Edom. Right, and go to the other one. And go down to verse 8, they say. Though it's well, Esau in Mount Seir, Esau is Edom. And yeah. verse 9, and these are the generation of Esau, the father of the Edomites in Mount Seir. See that? The father of the Edomites. But not all Edomites, because you got regular average Edomites that are not part of the uh the rulership. But what they do get is uh they get Edomite privilege. Right. right. And that and, and and now that's getting stripped from them. Yep. The sign that they going down. Yep. Come. Edomite don't have that same. Edomites don't have the same Edomite privilege that they once had. <laughs> yeah, right. Right. Yes. Yeah. You go on your uh, on these particular jobs. We work these jobs. You see Edomites. <laughs> he <laughs> might be making a dollar more than you. On, on side of you. Or a dollar less. Or less. less. Yeah. You know? Yeah. And they don't like. Get yeah, a. Uh, the uh, pay gap between Jacob, which is the so-called Negro, well, the, the, the head of Jacob is Judah, the so-called Negroes, and then the so-called white man, Esau, or the Edomites, the pay gap for the average uh, white person, or between the average white person and so-called black person, is, uh, is only $10,000, roughly. I think Jay is uh, the average so-called black man makes forty-two thousand a year, and the average so-called white man makes fifty thousand a year. So they not doing too good. <laughs> no, no. <laughs> not by they stand. Yeah, not by themselves. They yeah. need they they wife got to go out and work and bring in the other whatever you know yeah. to, so that they can live their lifestyle. And they gotta have good credit. So yeah. they can get the shit that they want, so they can look like they got more than what they have. Right. And they do have, you know, they are more prone to have good credit in this credit-based society. Yep. Right. And that's what they pretty, pretty much live off their credit card. Yeah. Credit, you know, oh, you yeah. Right. Just credit, credit, credit. Right, go back to uh, where we're in, Daniel. Mm -hmm. Read that again. Daniel 4, 17. Top. Yes, sir. Mm -hmm. This is Daniel 4, verse 17. This matter is by the decree of the watchers and the demand by the word of the Holy One. Right. To the intent that the living may know that the Most High ruleth in the kingdom of men. Right. So even right now, Esau being in rulership, he didn't come get in the rulership by his by right. his great wisdom. The Most High gave him the wisdom that he that he uh 
that he has, that he rules by, all right, which is really wicked on the left hand side. Right. <clears throat> okay? And that shows you the power of the Most High because the Most High controls both sides. Yep. Right. You know? It says, and give it in to whomsoever he will, and set it up over it, the basis of men. Right. And he saw it as the basis of all uh, mankind. Yes. Of all nations that exist, he saw it as the most base. And you can read Job the 30th 30, 30 chapter. Yeah. It goes into how vile and decrepit and low uh, Esau really is. Yeah. You know? Now we can go back to uh, Ecclesiastes. Son, Ecclesiastes 3, verse uh, 2. And still hold that Deuteronomy 28, 64. It says, Ecclesiastes 3, verse 2, it says, A time to be born. You know what, Salak, y'all, I, I didn't finish my thought. The so-called uh, white man is in rulership because the Most High put him in rulership. Right. And, the, and everything is going according to plan. Mm -hmm. Esau is not doing what the fuck he want to do in the earth. All right? He's doing what he was created to do was to be the wicked. That's it. And to show, really to show us, the Israelites, uh, the, the highest point of wickedness. And we, we're witnessing it. And that's why the Most High is going to take this bastard out of power is because his time is up for one, for prophecy's sake, and because this man had ruled in the most wicked, uh, right. wicked, wickedness out of all nations that ever came into power. Right, right. right. This is the worst, most abominable, abominable kingdom to ever stand right. in the history of mankind. That's why when we go to Revelation 17 and verse, get, it, get that real quick, Revelation 17 and verse 3. It's either 3 or 4. It get, this, is a, this is the stamp of uh, Esau's rulership that the Most High put on it. Actually, he stamped it on their proverbial uh, forehead. Mm -hmm. Go ahead, I. Going on 17 verse 4, you say? Uh, verse 5. Okay, we'll read verse 4 here, verse 4, and then verse 5. This Revelation 17, verse 4. And the women was arrayed in purple and uh, scarlet colored. And death right. with. That woman is talking about a miracle. Right. All right? And that her being decked in uh, scarlet color and purple. And it says gold. It says, uh, and, and, and decked with gold and precious stones and right. pearls. That represents royalty. Right. The men in the, uh, the, 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 the power seat, right. the yeah. rulership. All right? Yeah, they just coming back and forth, back and forth. And yeah, ain't even nobody, ain't nobody down here. Yeah. All that shit is for show, bro. Right. That show you the man paying the, the camera around. This show you that this place is done. <laughs> It's you know, a nice day too. Bad yeah. streets. Yes, yeah, it's, it's a nice No day. traffic. It's, it's kind of hot out here, but it's not. Right. Yeah, it ain't uh, bad. Right, right. Bad streets that way. Past, uh, this summer, it's been a hot summer out here. Well, it's hot. It's always hot, super hot down south. Right. In the southern states, as well as other other states too. Arizona get real hot. Parts of California get real hot. Uh, Vegas gets real, uh, Nevada gets mm -hmm. real hot, you know, but point being is it's a nice day. We're in the fourth largest city in, the, in America, and it's it's pretty much destitute out here. Right. And from what I heard uh, from certain other brothers, if you go to to their down, downtown area, it looked the same way. Right. You know? The American spirit, that American pride, spirit, all that's been zapped, man. Right. Ever since this uh this thing been going on globally, you know, 
that it, it been super zap. But even before that, man, it was zap. This place right here, when we used to come out here and speak, it used to be people in and out. That used to be something. Right. All this stuff, right. Macy's is gone. Everything is gone, man. It's like the brother's talking about, ain't nobody down here. Hell, it ain't nowhere to go down here. Unless you going to go to the, 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 the corner store. Everything yeah. else is closed. I can say this real quick. That little museum, that round building across the street didn't last, what, three months? I think they just rented that to have a expo oh, okay. and that was it. Right. Cause it's, yeah, it's empty, shit. right. Yep. Let's go back to the scripture. Uh, Revelation 17 and 4. Um, Revelation 17 and 4. And the women was arrayed in purple and scarlet color, and decked with gold and precious stones and pearls. Right. Having a golden cup in her hand. Right, and, and, and before you read on, the America, through the hand of the so-called white man, Esau, they held this cup out to all the nations, mm -hmm. all right, and told them this way of life is going to make your life better. Mm -hmm. You drink out of this golden cup or drink from this golden cup, it's going to improve the quality of your life <laughs> and, and, and your, the, the peoples of your nation. Right. You know? And the scriptures say that uh, this, this woman, the beast, uh, I'm sorry, America, or Babylon the Great, called it uh, all the nations to drink of her wine. Uh -huh. Okay? So she, Esau put that cup out there and he sold it to us. Yep, we yep. came up in a grade school uh, and we they tell you that the way we think that the, the model that they set before us to live, uh, how to live is is the best way of, the right. best quality of life. Right. We grew up thinking that, man, we, we uh, blessed in a sense, maybe talking about being in that old mind right. mindset. We blessed to live in this country yeah, yeah. versus in a third world country. Yeah, yeah. And they pushed that in the media. Yeah. Right. Like all these other so called third world countries is just a it's just shitholes. Yeah, yeah, and they got a uh a, a Trump's what's that word? Tyranny? A the, tyranny the, the, a tyrant. Uh, a tyrant government. Yeah, yeah. Socialist government, yeah, dictatorship type governments yeah. that they got to go around the world and uh, liberate the uh, average people of these other nations. And we come to find out that <laughs> you know, yeah, we yeah. woke up even before woke waking up to the truth. You get older, you get uh, as a grown up, become a grown up, and you start saying, "Damn, all this shit they sold us, right. you know, is BS." Um, we start, you know, them curses. We start feeling them, uh, understanding them curses is on us. What I mean, what I mean by that, let me clarify that is, right. when you a child, you're not really worried about if you catching hell. It ain't, you know, it's not registering right. about all the hell you may be catching. Right. But when you get to an adult, you're like, damn, it's hard out here. So that's, it's hard out here. So that's what Jake, you know, observed when they get older. Yeah. Damn. It's a struggle out here. Yep. Things ain't going my way, but they told us something different coming up. Exactly. It was the uh, last hire, first five. Yep. Right. They even say it's, uh, it's real hard for a so-called black black man to get a uh, business loan or any oh, kind of loan man. for that matter. Right. You got to jump through all kind of hoops. I remember. Uh, E40, the rapper E40 from uh, Cali, Oakland, Oakland. Uh, Bay Area or something. Yeah, he from Vallejo. Vallejo. Okay, yeah, he was talking about, I think he over, he was the owner of Fat Burger, or one Fat Burger, I think. I don't know if he had a share in it or what it was, but he said he went to get a, oh, okay, well, this is what it was. Whatever business he had, and I think it was Fat Burger, I can't remember, I could be wrong on that. He put all his own money in to get that going. Then he wanted to open up another business. I forget what the business was, but he wanted to open up another business and he wanted to use business loan to get that business off the ground. Right. And he said they denied it. He said he had his paperwork in order Damn. and everything. And, they, and he even had proof that he had a successful business, you know, on his, you know, 
Yeah. In his portfolio or whatever. Yeah. And uh, they denied him. Sound about right. <laughs> you know? Yeah. <clears throat> Shit, Esau get off the bus and walk in the bank and get Shit. a loan. Got free stuff. Oh yeah, yeah, you can bring it up. This is Jeremiah uh, fifty-one and seven. There it is. He say Babylon has been a golden cup in, in Yahweh's hand that made all the earth drunken, <coughs> and the Barakata. nation have drunken of her wine. Therefore, the nation are mad. Barakata. So we got every the whole earth that got a taste of this man's wine, man. We got it first over here under being in captivity under this devil. You know, we got it the worst and still getting it. Cause you got two thirds of our people that is drink still drinking that wine and they love right. it. You know? Even though they're getting their ass kicked, they still right. pursuing the uh in the ways of of, of this Babylonian juice. Yeah, that one. Yeah, you know they pursuing life, going about life according to Esau's way. Right. Which is all the wine that's in that cup. So what's in the cup? Democracy's in the cup. Yeah. Uh, uh, Christianity. Christianity's in the cup. Oh, was that yeah. company Ooh. with uh really Caesar Borgia is a company with Christianity. Yes. Right. right. You got. You can't have one without the other. Right. <laughs> Okay. Okay. Uh, uh, getting uh, being uh, getting caught up in the credit, living your life based upon. I was worried about your credit score. You know. Bankers, that's that's why they call them international. They they got their banks all over the world. Yep. That's part of that that, that wine. Yes, sir. Yep. yep. What else? The uh the abominable acronym. Yeah, yeah. All right. The LG LGBTQ on to Z community. Got Gotta say Z because what uh Zoophil was it Zoophilia? Zoophilia. Yeah. That they uh pushing this uh corrupt, abominable place. Damn. And that's at the top, that's at the top of the uh agenda is right. to push that that uh abominable right. acronym. Right. You know? Medicine, well a false uh sense of what medicine is. Yeah. So it's a lot of uh Wickedness and destructive things for our lives in that cup. What? Taxes. Yeah, you know, taxes been around, you know. Well, but yeah. this thing is about taxes. You really, the uh, taxes supposed to be. Your nation is supposed to help put in taxes, so to speak, to take care of your nation. You know what I'm saying? And they right. push that. They push that. Uh that bullshit to us, that our tax dollars go to keep to help keep this place going, that we all contributed to Social Security and uh, what is that? Medicare, the roads, Medicare. Keeping the roads yeah. and bridges up the so far, yeah. infrastructure. And, uh, schools. Schools. Better education for your children. Right. Yeah. And I believe on that, uh, on that documentary, Freedom to Fascism, they was going into I forget who the president was, but the cabinet of that particular president, they did an investigation on uh, taxes, where the taxes were going. And they said less than 2% of the taxes God. went out to uh, what they tell us is going to. And they went into how, you know, it's a tax on gasoline, that's take care of the roads and, and bridges. And then uh, some other, ta uh, Taxes. Oh, when you pay your homeowners uh, association fees, it's the fees in there that that goes to the school district. So this bastard just been 
just been lying, man. Right. You know, he, he lied to the world and told us, look, this is, you drink this, and your life is going to be great. Yeah. Damn. Then we drunk, and everybody that drunk this wine, and read it again, and this is what happened. Uh, 51, Jeremiah 51, 7. Jeremiah 51 and verse 7 from the top. He said, Babylon had been a golden cup in Yahweh's hands. He had made all the earth drunken. The nation have drunken of her wine. Therefore, the nation are mad. Right. But yeah, the nations is pissed off. Yes. They said, we true, we, we. Did a, we got in bed with this man right. through contracts, and uh, he, he, he screwed us over. Yep. A good, uh, yeah, a good, uh, it's not really a documentary, I guess it's seminars that the guy, his name is, uh, the, the guy that speaking at the seminars is John, the author of the book, uh, Economic Hitman. He doing, he's doing uh, different speakers on it. Somebody can look his name up. Uh, the first name is John. I'm not sure. But he, he wrote a book. And he also got speakers up on the YouTube uh, going into what the Economic Hitman is all about. And what it's John about Perkins. is John okay. Perkins. Yeah. Perkins, yeah. And he goes into how Esau gets his wine, got his wine into uh, these other countries, mm -hmm. or the other nations, so to, so you can understand. You know, I'm not gonna go all into that, but you know, it's a good it's a good watch. You just type in economic hitman, and uh, they go he go in to it. And when it should have pissed you off, you might want to uh, lock your doors and all your windows. Because <laughs> you know? this man was doing heinous shit. And then this Edomite John Perkins is up there acting like he's so sympathetic about Because he had to, he went, he was part of it. He right. was going out doing it. Right. He was an economic hitman. But that's one way, that's one way that this, this bastard then got his wine into. Uh, these other countries, you know? And now they looking at it, and well, when he came to them with it, he told them this is gonna work and it's gonna make you and your people prosper. Oh, just real saying. quick, just to show you how guilty this bastard really is, it's actually called Confessions of an Economic Hit Man. So now he wanna come clean oh, and that's the name of the book? Come. Oh, okay, okay. So and like, he just you did all that as a means to to make money. Yeah, cause shit, yeah, it's on Amazon yeah. for sixty two dollars. He don't give a shit. Yeah, he don't but he yeah, you hear him speak. And you may I ain't never read the book, but I heard him speak about it. And I mean he's acting like he's just so destroyed about, <laughs> yeah, about yeah, 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 yeah. Yeah, how much money you didn't donate to so called Negroes, Latinos and Native Americans. Yeah, right, right. All, all these places you hit hit on. Right. That's one of the methods of uh, the, the elite that uh, one of their pay methods is they'll, they'll allow certain people to put out a book and then all of a sudden it'll become a bestseller, they'll make all this money. That, that's one way that they pay off certain of their pundits. Right. That, that uh, you know, they've done work for them over the years. You know, you see all these people like Oprah, T.D. Jakes, and put these books out. Those are payoffs, basically. You know, because you put out a book, be you know, chock full of information. That shit won't even you know you right. sell a few hundred copies. You know, but yeah, let's go and look at what you got. That's it. Uh, let's go back. Go back and uh, let's get through that uh, Revelation uh, 17 and 4. Can uh, I say oh, something yeah. real quick? And even when they put like the economic hitman, they can put out all of the business now. It's, it's at the point, what you gonna do? Yeah. Right. It, a lot of people know what the hell is going on. They see through all of the, 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 the madness. They see the agenda. It's a lot of people that see the agenda of what's really going on right now globally. But what can you do? 
No, there's nothing the people can do. All the marching, that, that none of that's gonna matter. Yep. They got places for the people that's out marching and protesting. Right. Yeah. They got all this set up, you know. Right. And Shalom. Shalom, huh? Shalom. 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 All that set up. They. Who's gonna, is no way to stop the agenda. The only way to get out of the whole thing that's going on is through this truth, and that's only going to be for the elect of the nation of Israel. Uh, Revelation 17, the latter part of it, uh, verse 4, having a golden cup in her hand full of abomination. See, now this is the, this is what you saw though. Didn't tell us and didn't tell nobody in the, right. in the earth what was in the cup. Right. He lied about what was in the cup. Go ahead. I, right, he disguised it because it was gold. Yeah. So. Hey, because it was once upon a time that nations believed that America really had streets paved in gold. Hey, right. And if they came over here, and then you still got uh, really from his jakes. It's really the jakes right. from like uh, certain parts of West uh, Africa that they uh, and I've I've heard this from I've actually heard this out of uh, Jake's own mouth. Yes. Like from Ghana, one particular Jake was from Ghana. He told me he grew up his whole life <laughs> and, and they and him and his family and their goal was to get to America so that they can have a better quality of life. Right. And then he said, man, I say that ain't, that ain't what it is, huh? Yeah. He said, no, nah, man. He said, yeah, he was eating food. Yeah. Yeah. They lied yeah. in the brochure. Working in the, working in the, the sweet shop with me. Yeah. Damn. Just like when we was growing up, you thought you're going to go to school. When you graduate, you're going to marry a woman, <laughs> have you a, a daughter and a son, and you're going to build you a house, white and go white to work, yeah. <laughs> and have a dog. And right. Everybody thought that's what how it was gonna be when you grew up, but meanwhile you watching cutting so and so and right. all this and that and what you calling them from down the street. Everybody still living in swallow. Right. Like what the hell? I thought we 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 grow up. We supposed to all be successful. Right. And even if you got money, especially for Jake, it's still uh, the family structure is chaotic. Yes. You know? Yes. Uh, adultery is running rampant. Yes. You know? Women in power. Children out of order. Yes. Yeah, uh, women running running the household. That's part of that wine. Yeah, that's part of the wine. Liberation for women. Yeah. That's something else these other countries, they they tasted that and was like, oh, that don't taste good. Hell no. Yeah, these other countries, man, that's, that stick to their cultures, they not about women being in no type of power, man. Right. right. And a lot of these nations, they come over here and they got to watch their grandchildren or maybe be children and grandchildren get uh, indoctrinated with this westernized uh, way of living. Yes. You know? Watching uh, little Moabites walking around looking like a, a nigga. Yeah. Or on TikTok twerking. Yeah. Y'all looked at a meme on the social media. It was an old, uh, an older Issacharite woman. She say, I snuck in the border, snuck my family in through the border to get over here. And her, her granddaughter was in the mirror twerking and shit. And she say, I snuck over here and took all these chances to, to come over here and make a living and make a better life and get away from Mexico and all this for this. And her granddaughter was in the mirror with some spandex on, a little halter top, shaking her ass and gyrating, yeah, gyrating and shit <laughs> like that, you know. Right. But that's the wine Esau sold. Right. Let your women be free. Right. That's hard. Yeah. yeah, the scriptures speak about giving a woman liberty. Yeah. Yeah, right. Don't do it. You see them women over there in Afghanistan, they banned for it now because they had 20 years liberty. But now the Taliban, yeah, the the Taliban, Taliban like, nah, they cut they that shit that out. Set that down. So, right. now, <laughs> yeah, leaving your ex-president, his wife sitting there posing naked. Yeah, this is the way of life. Yeah. And this, and this is the way of life that's uh, pushed down the throats of the, uh, the people of the world. And uh, 
they telling you it's okay, it's all good. So you can be a you can be a part of the alphabet community or in agreement with it, the abominable uh, acronym community, Salak, right? And uh, or be in agreement with it, and there's nothing wrong with that. But a man have more than one woman, he's a dog, he's a no good show. Masculine. Uh, right, masculine, toxic, toxic, toxic yeah. uh, toxic, uh, masculinity. Right, just having a woman in order. Right. Oh, it's yeah. toxic, you got, yeah. You got one woman and you got her where she's in, in some type of order, people go out their way, especially right. her family, to try to get her away from you, yeah. or get her to rebel against you, you know? That's why most of us single <laughs> right now, Yeah. you know? Cause that's that's the way of America, man. Yeah. They want the women to be slutted out, yeah. right? You know, and you the terrorist now, right? Yes, yeah. yeah. you the bad guy. You the horrible. Not the bad. You horrible. <laughs> <laughs> but bad. you watched your grandmother and your grandfather, and possibly your great grandparents stay together right. for years, right? And raise families, and, and be happy, and and they work together. They work together. Now it ain't no working together. Now it's, I gotta do everything in my power to make sure this woman is happy. Right. Men That's are, sucker men shit, are man. Uh, terrified of their woman leaving them. Yes. Because they self esteem is so low that they don't believe they can go out and get another woman. For a lot of men, anyway. And then uh, a lot of Jake is uh, subject to living off the fucking woman because they can't even make it and shit. So they selling and fucking for some woman that they can gotta uh, rely on to lay their head down at the end of the day and shit. So that was another reason why they be sitting there dealing with this bullshit. Scared of fucking having somewhere to lay their head uh, to this damn woman. Yeah, afraid of another thing, afraid of child support, afraid of alimony. Afraid of these things, man, because child support and alimony is killing uh, us. Uh, all men, and it's, especially Jake. Right. But even Esau is getting a taste yeah, of it. That's, taste. Where, that's where your uh, MGTOW yeah. movement, that whole MGTOW movement was started, about, started behind this run on Edomites. <laughs> yeah, this run. <laughs> Pissed off because they done got messed over by their wife. Yep. And, and it wasn't the shit they could do about it. Right. But know that your wife is out there slut, and all you can possibly do is get in touch with a lawyer and try to get some type of evidence so you can go and file for a divorce against this bitch or this whore. My and, bad. And then when you file the divorce, which all right, when you say you demand to file the divorce, she gets to take half in most cases. At least half. The house and the children. Right, right. Yeah, the children ain't and even a the question. Dog. Right. Yeah, at least let me keep my dog. Yeah, at least let me keep my dog. <laughs> hey, let's go. Right. Revelation 17, verse 5. And upon her forehead was and a upon name. upon her forehead, okay? Metaphor of your speech. So the brand, the uh, the description, the character, <laughs> yeah. with uh, the characteristics of this country. If you flew a banner over this place, this is what this is what it is. We're gonna read about it. The description. <laughs> <laughs> the what, is, what, is, yeah, what is America all about? What does America represent? So on her forehead, this is what this is what it be right. stamped on her forehead. Mm. Like the was a name written, sticking. Mystery Babylon. Hey, this is the Most High out there, man. I like the way the Most High put this speech <laughs> together, <laughs> man. You know, he's saying upon her forehead, cause she's a whore. Go ahead, all right? Was a name written, Mystery Babylon, the Great, the Mother of Harlots, an abomination of the earth. Yeah, mystery, Babylon, not just Babylon, but Babylon the Great. And the word Babylon goes back to the Hebrew word Babal, which means confusing. Right. So this place is not only confusing, but it's greatly confusing. Yes. So now you have to watch 
you gotta uh, watch out and because you don't. It's hard to tell a a man from a woman these days. Right. You gotta be careful approaching um, what you may think to be a woman. Right. With all the technology and surgeries and all the pills and injections and all that type of stuff that <laughs> uh, a man can take, you got men walking around here looking like women. They got a procedure where they do a uh, shave the uh, Adam's apple. Yeah, yeah. God damn. So if you try to do the Adam apple check, in some cases, it ain't gonna work. It ain't gonna work. Yeah, this man is wicked. Right. And he gonna pay for all of this shit. That's, That's right. right. All right, was that in on that? Mm. Right, so, no, read it again, read verse mm. five again. I like that, I love, that's one of my favorite verses. Mm. <laughs> Revelation 17 because verse five. it describes how wicked right. this man is. Go ahead, up. Cunning, it's all on cats. <laughs> Yeah. Yeah, 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 show yeah. Yeah. yeah, yeah, right. <laughs> the whole verse. <bird>, huh? <laughs> yeah. Revelation 17, verse 5. And upon her forehead was a name written, Mystery Babylon, the great, the mother of harlots. Right, because at a point in time, it was a uh, mystery of who this whore was, who Babylon the great was. All right, but now we know. Okay, now we have this knowledge. That's right and understanding of the scriptures, we know. And we was in the world, back when we was in uh, in the world, in that Gentile state of mind, we could have read the scripture, we wouldn't know what the hell right. they was talking right. about. Right. Now you did have Benjamin, the tribe of Benjamin, certain artists uh, made songs about, you know, about Babylon the Great, you know what I'm saying? That yeah. might have been as close to Jacob as far as uh, so them Benjamites knew according to the scripture, this Babylon the Great, some of them Benjamites, they knew that yeah. that's this that's talking about a miracle. Mm -hmm. But I would open this up and went to Revelation 7 and 5. Say, hey, uh, congregation, open up your Bibles to Revelation 17 and 5. <laughs> I wish they would never do it. They, yeah, right. <laughs> that ain't gonna happen. <laughs> Man, they would know, you know, nobody would know what it's talking about. Then the pastor going feed you some some uh lies and pull somebody out of his raggedy ass right right but anyway uh, read that out it's a lot mm -hmm. it says thank you all for mystery babylon the great the mother of harlots and the, mo the mother of harlots right so basically uh like when you go into the book of nahum the third chapter i believe can you go to nahum three where we'll talk about the uh the, the mystery, yeah, the mistress of witchcraft. Yeah. So when you go into the word uh, mistress, mistress is the uh, feminine way of saying master. Right. So in a in a, in a sense, it's worded different over here, but this is the the master, okay, or the top of harlots, okay. And what does that mean? What are they talking about? Getting Really getting you to uh, commit spiritual adultery, getting us the Israelites to commit spiritual adultery. All right, uh, pushing out these different philosophies, right, and taking hold of these different philosophies, right, is how you. Uh, it's how us Israelites, how how we commit spiritual adultery against the Most High. All right, because these these um, what people don't know is these philosophies. There's an idol t attached to them. All right, that was it on that. Is it more? It says the mother of harlots and abominations. The mother of harlots and abominations of the earth. You see, so she's not only the mother of harlots but the mother of abominations. So this is the worst thing going, worst place going in the world. Why they tell the through the media they feed us that Saddam Hussein was the the, the worst right, thing right. going at one point. Uh, Muammar Gaddafi right. was the worst thing going at one point. Ben uh, Osama bin Laden <laughs> bin yeah. was the worst thing going. 
as well as what's uh, Fidel some of the, Castro. Yeah, Fidel Castro. Uh, and what's the guy in Venezuela? Oh, the guy. I can't think. Of I can't one. think of it either. That what's the one in uh, Syria? Uh, President of oh, Syria. Uh, uh, Back, I'll, I'll uh, the when he's gassing the people, he said he was committing right. chemical warfare against the, uh, the people. Something oh, daddy, uh, uh, damn, I can't think of uh, uh, something. Uh, yeah, something. Uh, yeah, something. From saying it correctly. Oh, okay. Say it again. For sure, I should have known that. But any, any, anyway, you know, they the, their government is the, is the bad guys of the earth. When the whole time it's been this place. Right. Now what do we have? We have precepts? Yeah, the lady. This is Nahum 3 and verse 4. Because of the multitude of her hardens of the well favored harlot, the mystery, the mystery, uh, mistress of witchcraft that said if nation through her hardens. Family. Right, now this is uh, at the time this was uh, scribe. This was dealing with the Syrian, the Syrians. But do it. right. But this now this applies to America. America is is uh, fits this bill really way above the uh, the Syrians. Right. Mm -hmm. The Syrians ain't got shit on. Yeah. What they was doing back because they was doing a bunch of wickedness and abominable things. Uh, two at that at that particular time, but that don't have nothing on compared to what. But that don't have nothing on the shit that Esau's doing today. He's doing it throughout the whole earth. I mean, this man didn't turn this didn't turn the earth into a, a wilderness. And when you go into that uh, that word uh, wilderness, it's dealing with a uh, uninhabitable. Yeah. He didn't make this place uninhabitable for the people. Especially <laughs> right here in, in America, man. Yeah. Right. The last few mornings I came in from work, I have never seen that many chemtrails. They, I mean, they just, then they be spraying them at night too. Come. If you, when the moon is, is, is shining bright, you can see chemtrails in the sky at night time. Right. Yeah, this man that made this place a, a this world a place where you don't want to live. Right. And you got you want to know it's crazy. You got it's not really crazy because we understand that the Most High set everything up the way it, it is in the earth. You know, you got two thirds of our people right here in this land that uh that think this is this shit. Yeah. They think the American way is. Is the way. Uh, you had the, the, that sentiment of the title of that 50 Cent uh, first album, yeah. Get Rich or Die Trying. Right. I had a young girl tell me the other day, I don't need college. I'm going to get rich and create generational wealth. I said, like, damn, the earth is ending and you yeah. think you're about to accumulate generational wealth. Shit. But that's where her mind is at. Even though, I mean, even if this place was to go on, it ain't gonna happen. Exactly. They don't have the damn, they don't have the discipline, the knowledge nor the discipline to create this way. Right. You know? Wealth is one thing, but generational wealth right. is yeah. Just wealth by itself. Wealth, $20 million ain't wealth. Right. You gotta have over $20 million just to be considered rich. Yeah, and uh, Esau not gonna let a, a, no. a, a Israelite exactly. accumulate generational wealth. No. And then you gotta have, as a nation or uh, people, you gotta have a structure that's passed down, a disciplined structure, and this all gives this structure is America that's built for them to have that generational wealth. Oh, I forgot. No, I forgot. It says from the one person, uh, money bag, yo, the rapper, his <laughs> uh, his girlfriend, girlfriend yeah, bought him twenty eight acres of uh, 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 land. You know what the hell that is? <laughs> <laughs> Say you did get a, a substantial amount of money and top you up, yo, the people coming behind you gonna fuck it off anyway because right. the curses. 
Right, you're gonna leave your money to a fool. Isaiah 29 and 16. Surely your turning the things upside down shall be esteemed as the potter's clay. For shall the uh, for shall the work say of him that made it, he made me not, or shall the uh, Isaiah 29 and 16. Surely your turning the things upside down shall be esteemed as the potter's clay. Right. Should be uh, esteemed as going in to uh, recognize. Yeah. As the, the potter's clay. Who's the who's the potter? The most high is the is the potter. The clay is in this in this context of the of the scripture is the so-called white man that has turned everything upside down. Yes. The wicked. Okay. Well shall the work say of him that made it, he made me not. Mm. Or shall right, the and what that saying is before you read on so like it, is that it's nothing because if the most high is the potter of the clay and the clay turned everything upside down then it's nothing for the most high to straighten everything uh, back out in the earth all right to shake that clay up which is shake this earth up in its right or proper order because the most high set this man up to, to rule and uh knew this man was gonna well made this man Rule yeah, yeah. In, a, in a wicked, abominable fashion. Because yeah. the Most High controls both sides. Yeah. He had to show us this is what, this is the negative effects of being, uh, well, this is the negative effects of breaking the law. This is what it brings on the planet Earth. Yeah. Death, destruction, disease, uh, chaos, mourning, and the list goes on. All right, I right, go ahead, brother. It says, "Or shall the thing framed say of him that framed it, he had no, he had no understanding." Right, and the mindset of Esau is that's this is his mind towards the Most High. If the way you set the earth, the order you set the order of the earth up, I'm gonna redo it, but I'm gonna do it the complete opposite. See, the Most High set up a, a, a right a righteous order for the whole planet. From the elements, the, 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 the ordinance of the, of the heavens, sun, the moon, the stars, the oceans, the animals, the uh, the uh, the but the fowls of the air, the creeping things, yeah. the insects and whatnot, and the, and, the, and the nations of people. Everything got a, a, a certain order on how the Most High set, set up set it up for it to run. Yes. And Esau went against the grain, completely against the yes. grain. Yes. Hell yes. You know? That's his mind. You know what? I don't like the way his Who's phone? Whose phone? My what happened? It's froze but the the live is still going the audio but the video froze. Oh shit. I don't I'm not sure. The whole live stream, I mean, oh, okay. I don't know how I could refresh it or uh, something. Uh, let me see. Is there a way to refresh this? Man, that's Satan, man. Can you hear it? Is it, is it, is it? You can hear it, but you can't see it? Yeah, you can still yeah, hear it. The, the audio is still yeah. going, but the, the video is froze. Going. Maybe if you stop it and uh, start it over. So hit the X? Yeah, and just start over. <laughs> yeah, right. Say it again. Let's see. Uh... <laughs> 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 I 